feel like everything now is just a story. Anyway, so when the Bengals arrived in Baltimore last night, the first thing people noticed was that Joe Burrow had a brace on his throwing hand. Now, let's talk about this because this actually did spark up some discussion on Twitter and obviously right here it says don't overreact and really it's almost to a point of that. Joe just played a game versus the Houston Texans. Very recently, actually. I don't know if you remember, it was Sunday. Four days later now, he's playing a game against the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore, right? Very important divisional game. It's been four days. In that game versus the Texans, yeah, he threw the ball a crap ton. What does that mean? Players are sore. That's pretty much all that means. And that's exactly kind of what he said here was that um, sore, but you're sore every Tuesday. Burrow said, usually by Thursday, you're starting to feel pretty good. Uh, got to get, get, got to work hard to get your body right the next two days. And that's exactly what this is. And the reason why I'm making this video is kind of to cover this for future, you know, things that get po uh, shown or posted about a player wearing blank, whether they're wearing a brace on their arm, whether they're wearing a brace on their hand, or obviously Joe is known for the compression sleeve on his calf. Right, Just because they're wearing that does not mean that they're injured or anything is, you know, wrong with them or that, you know, there potentially could be an injury report soon. No, all it really means is that the player is sore. And, well, yes, it could also mean that they're injured. Obviously, if they're wearing that in the indication that, you know, something is wrong, like they obviously on the injury report with a shoulder injury and they have a shoulder brace on, yes. But if they're not on the injury report, it really could just be that they're sore. I mean, again, you know, we I don't think we realize a lot of times that these players are human beings too. And when they go out there and throw the ball 40 times a game, right? I mean, that takes a lot out of your arm. And normally they have a week to kind of rest and get going and, you know, practice a little bit. But they have a, a, a week to kind of get back in the rhythm before they play again. Well, that's not the case when you play on Thursday night. You know, you're going from Sunday... You're trying to rest Monday, but you can't rest Monday. You know, normally, normally when you, um, a normal week, right? You play on Sunday, then you don't press again till Wednesday. So Monday and Tuesday, you're off, you your rest days, get right, get ready, whatever. Wednesday, you process. Thursday, you process. Friday, you process. That's usually how everything goes. Saturday, you travel. Sunday, you play the football game. But when you are literally playing on Thursday, Process, there's no two days of rest. You don't get those two days of rest. You process Monday. So your rest day normally, you're now processing on Monday. You're processing on Tuesday. You're processing on Wednesday. You're playing on Thursday. Your two rest days are after the game is over. So after Thursday night football is over, that's when you get 15 days of rest before you play your next game. Again, that's another reason why you know, you're going to see players potentially and you might see players going into this game maybe with a brace or something you know on their arm or a sleeve on their arm you know just before the game starts so that they can you know get over the soreness and the pain of playing football I mean again football is a gladiator sport for a reason it's a contact sport it's insane you know you can hit every single other play it's not for the faint of heart and a lot of the reasons why is because when you have to go from that to playing again the next Thursday literally four days later it's not easy. It's not easy at all. So that's really what it is. And again, I'm making this for future reference too, not just for this one incident, but for future reference. If you ever see a player with something on their arm or sleeve, don't really overthink it. And I know as fans, we get kind of like, oh, what's going on? Like, because obviously, yes, Joe has had injuries this year so far and just injuries in his career. So when you see a player with a brace on their arm when you all meet, already have, or a brace on your hand, when we already have T. Higgins out for this game, Sam Hubbard out for this game, Trey Henderson luckily playing, Yoshi's out for this game. You know, you kind of have that mentality of like, this is not good. This is not good. Like, this could be a problem. No, it's not a problem. It's really just the player is sore, right? The player is human. The player is not going to be able to, you know, go from one game, a short week to the other game, and be 100% okay and ready to go again. They're going to, you know, try to get over that soreness as much as possible. And a lot of times, uh, obviously, sometimes you just a compressive sleeve or a brace to kind of, you know, make sure their hand's not, like, bending in weird places. 
but sometimes they do actually have equipment. Equipment like massages, a massage machine thing, like sleeves that go in the arm and massages the muscles. There's stuff like that too. It's not just always like a, you know, like a piece of cloth. Sometimes it is like a massage equipment that they have on them that massages their muscle as they're walking or doing things. So again, like I said, there's always different ways to, you know, recover from these injuries. And as football has advanced, a uh, hint, advanced? enhanced as football has gotten better when it comes to medical science that's why i will say um these things have been you know improved these things have been enhanced enhanced is the word enhanced to a point where you know they can really take a player who is banged up and not hurt but sore and all this other stuff and then get them right back ready to go the next following week ready to play a game and also again another thing here right is week 10 it's week 10. So there's been nine games played. Wear and tear of these players' bodies. Yeah, it's it's not good, right? So again, they're very sore from playing nine weeks of football. Especially with Joe, because, you know, offensive line has been pretty uh, a little trash, you know, throughout the season. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's like, all right, I'm extra sore from <laughs> Sitting behind this boo-boo offensive line for half the season. But again, like I said, guys, that's pretty much all it is. Hopefully this video did give you some clarity and helped you out. I'll see you guys in the next one.